This is House of Pain on Reaper Four Skull. So I'm definitely glad I'm in uh, Unyielding Sentinel for this chain. It's the enemies hit really, really hard. And I don't think I would have, um, I, I managed to not die in the last quest, but I don't think that would have been the case if, uh, if I was, if I was, uh, in a different destiny. Evan Greybeard, your would-be informant, lives somewhere upstairs in this slum tenement tower. The door into Evan's apartment stands before you, wide open. This can't be good. Two hobgoblin corpses lie at the feet of a stern gnome. The air smells of sulfur. And who in Kyber are you? The gnome This optional is really weird. Tone. I'll do it, the but we'll get zero XP for it, so... Start. Then goes back to work on the crime I don't know scene. if it gives us any sort of bonus at what the end. I don't think it does. Really going on here? So zero XP. I don't know if that's because I ran it so many times on heroic, you know, normal hard elite, or they may have just uh, changed that to zero because they're worried people are going to farm it. Try to stay behind these guys as best we can. So you just want to uh, kind of circle around here, and when you get to this doorway and tower, you just kind of drop down to get to the tavern right here. This must be the place where Evan went for a drink. Perhaps the bartender has seen him. You turn to head outside only to find a man standing in your path. He beckons you over. So I haven't quite figured out what makes the woman in black spawn, but we're gonna just kind of jump down, stick together and clear enemies. Once the mysterious assassins start showing up, that's when we know that she's here. These ne'er do wells have mistaken you for an easy man. This won't end well for them. So we're not going to move around too much. We don't want to like draw too much attention. Uh, but we want to do whatever we need to do to kind of pro uh, proc the lady in black. Which I have not quite figured out what that is yet. There's a lot of kind of theories. 
you know, the one that seems the most to make the most sense is that there's a random timed element to it, and that it's not the same every quest, because that that would be consistent with You've what I see. You've come across a crumbling shrine amidst what appear to be ancient ruins. It still gleams with the magic of a shan long vanished. So we'll just kind of circle around. There's a number of five or six spots she could be in. And once we start seeing a mysterious assassins, then that's when we know that she's spawned. All right, I'm gonna need help with this Reaper. There's a mysterious assassin, so she's spawned. Okay, so now we know she spawned, so now I'm going to just start hitting the Q button as we circle around. And it looks like Cronavir found her. So I just need to find Cronavir. Unfortunately, we managed to all get separated. Oh. All right, so we'll just talk to her. I'm going to get in there and get the traps right away. Before we talk to her, we're not going to talk to her until uh, I get all the traps. What's a treasure chest in the front? Do you need to get So the, the, the healing is nice, uh, that comes with unhealing stuff. We don't have a dedicated, we don't really have all the roles. We're all three martial builds, two range, one melee. Uh, that gives a little bit of diversity right there. Let's see if we can grab these guys. Oh, that's going to be a tough mob. I've got the healing curse. 
we got too many mobs. Aggro? That's surprising. I don't know how we got so many mobs. Ma it looks like the Reaper. Yeah, so unfortunately that's what Reapers do, is they they aggro too many mobs. Alright, we gotta get Kronavir up pretty quick. As soon as he's pop a timer. Oh, that was a whip. Oh, I'm dead. There's a shrine by here, so... Um, was trying to get Kronavir up. Shrine right over here that I can get to. So we're, I think we should just regroup by the shrine. See if I can reach it. Probably not. So, but if Shyly could drag us here, uh, I got it. So now we just need Shyly to. So we're going to regroup here. Unfortunately, that's what Reapers do. So there's two or three mobs, but the Reaper has a kind of a longer ability to sense us. And so we got a couple of those rat mobs. And I, you know, it's unfortunately, it's just a little bit luck of the draw with the Reapers. All right. But we should be able to finish them off now. Demon Soul. That explains part of the problem we're having. All right, so we're all up. Probably want to shrine over here before we go down to the end fight. So we just need to find three levers. I hear more rats. There's one, or not levers, valves, two valves we need. And one is usually in a room up ahead. Let's see, is it open? Nope. All right, so there it is. Oh, there's a rat. These guys hit super hard and unfortunately they can't be, uh, my dire charge won't work on them because they're undead. Oh, another rat. He was from the last fight. He somehow went back to his start spot with like very few hit points left. All right, so we're gonna shrine up here. That was kind of a rough fight. So normally when we do these R4, well, nor a lot of times we'll, you know, if we want to do an R4 or higher run, we want to have at least one caster with CC. But uh, because I'm doing this project uh, and they are doing their alchemist lives, uh, uh, well, and Shy Lee is 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 a uh, is a rogue. Just because the characters we want to run this on, we don't really have the normal roles. We don't really have a alchemist could kind of be a healer, but we don't have a good CC. We usually have one good CC caster, makes things a lot easier. Uh, we don't, we don't use, we don't, we sometimes have a tank, but we don't normally really make it a priority. But we do make a CC caster a priority, and we do make sure we have at least one martial build for, you know, good sustainable DPS. Usually.
we're just gonna go down here and this is the end fight and fights pretty um pretty chaotic lots of enemies coming and you know waves of enemies coming at first lady thora gapes at you like a startled deer then she sighs with exasperation cursed contractors if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. After this guy, we get another red name and more waves of bosses. Warp Forge. Oh, there's a red crown mysterious assassin. Serious assassins seem to have pretty good, pretty good uh, saves. No spellcasters. Some goblin waves. They have pretty high, pretty high saves for four, four as far as fortitude goes. But not the highest in the game by any stretch. All right. So I'm getting quite a few glancing blows against these guys. I have my accuracy and insightful accuracy item. My true seeing scroll must have went off. I think that might actually be all the waves. Now we just focus on the boss. This uh, is from Undealing Sentinel Light in the Dark. It's an AoE deal.
All right, well, Legendary Hallowed Trail. That's a really nice item for Favorite Soul Warlock. I'm going to go ahead and give this to one of these, either Cronavir or Shyly. Let me take a look at what this artifact is. Dexterity. I'm not dex based, so let me pass that to Shyly. He might be able to use that. He is dex based. And let's see what we have on Reaper XP. 3,955 Reaper XP. Not too bad. And that is House of Pain on Reaper Forest Skull.